Hello everyone, this is going to be uh, episode zero, the setup episode for uh, Intermediate Java, and so you'll see that I'm on the Eclipse Downloads page uh, at eclipse.org slash downloads, or you could just click right there, either one works. Um, the version that we're going to be downloading is Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers. I have 64-bit windows, you may or may not. Uh, you're just going to download that there. And that's, I mean, it's it's a pretty basic install. Or actually, it's not really a basic install. Uh, Eclipse doesn't have an installer, I don't think. Uh, you just download like a zip file and you extract it. So I've already taken the liberty of doing that because the Eclipse website is slow as crap, or well, most of the mirrors on it are. So we go into c colon backslash Eclipse, and your Eclipse install should look something like that. Um, I just put the program on the, straight on the C drive, and I put the actual uh, uh, folder in my documents. So this is where all my projects will be built to. So you guys might want to set it up that way. You can set it up differently if you want. It doesn't really make that big of a difference. But this video is going to cover a few other things. Uh, we're going to want to install an add-on called IVDE. And so we go to the IVDE website. It's part of uh, Apache's Ant. It's an add-on for that. So we go there, and you'll see that there's a URL here and some explanation on how to install that with Eclipse. So we launch Eclipse, and the way that you install things in Eclipse is fairly easy. So you go to Help, Install New Software, and then you're going to do, uh, this window is going to pop up. You shouldn't have to change any of these boxes down here so what you're going to do is up here you're just going to press the add button and you can title it iv-de and then paste your URL there it will come up with a couple of options hit select all hit next it will find all the stuff and then you hit next I accept the terms of this license and finish and then it will download and install so there's actually going to be a couple of these uh, that I'm going to have you guys install. There's going to be IVDE, there's going to be Subclips, and so that's going to be for SVN stuff. Um, I think, you know, I think I'll leave it at that for now. I don't want to get too... We might do Window Builder, but we'll download that later if we do. Um, so for now, just get those downloaded. Uh, the links to these are going to be in the description. So look right down below and that will uh, get you started. All right, next video, we're going to start going over sort of what's changed from NetBeans to this. If you're familiar to Eclipse already, you probably won't need that video all that much. All right, thanks for tuning in and see you later.